And welcome back. Uh, actually, welcome to the future, as where we left off was after the draft, and well, we did quite a lot. And of course, that's that's the video that decides that uh, my audio is going to get absolutely eaten. And I don't know what the hell happened. I had to like it. It just kept happening too with my audio program. I was as I was testing it this morning. I had to like clear a bunch of crap and like reset my computer. Oh man, I don't. Oh, good old technology. As it gets more advanced, it sucks more somehow in many, many ways. But hey, maybe we're all just jaded. <laughs> uh, so we're 32, 23, and 6 here at the deadline. And the lineup is quite a bit different. I mean, Crosby's still leading the way, obviously. Um, I don't know what we'll do for predictions anyway. But, um, so here are the lines. I, I actually did just shift some things at the deadline. Moving Bedard up, he was centering the second line, but he's only got fucking 32 points in 61 games played. Hasn't grown either. He jumped up to 82 and has sat there. Hasn't grown across the year at all, which really sucks. But we did obviously make some two big trades. Landis Gog, Tarasenko, uh, both no longer here. We signed up defensemen, uh, Hronik uh, and Pelik. Uh, we're trying out this young guy, which we signed a couple years ago as a, I think it was a free agent. God damn it, look at him. He loves this uh, the scheme too. And uh, we just brought him up after the deadline. We are switching between TVR and Siegenthaler. TVR is like a 78 now. It wasn't doing too good. Siegenthaler was doing better, so we played him for a while. Now we're trying out Vero. Um, obviously, our third and fourth line completely different. Complete grinders now. We signed, I think it was Hathaway, got Paquette back, and also signed Kamano. Or we had Hathaway and we signed McEwen, one of the two. I always get them mixed up. And yeah, we're we're trying to switch some things around. Gensel was on the first line, but I'll show you what our return was for Tarasenko and Landeskog. We traded with the Lightning and the Senators. Now, unfortunately, both those teams are doing quite well, first and second in their division, respectively. But we got three firsts apiece for each of those guys. Now, while they may not be winning lotteries necessarily... Maybe they have a bad year in the next coming years and, and such. I mean, we had a pretty good year this year anyway. But, you know, this second, maybe the third year, maybe they could be some solid picks. And the, the thing about that is it splits up the singular value, right? We split up the sky-high value of Tarasenko and Landeskog into three separate pieces, which we could, you know, which could gain value or we could trade at our leisure to, you know, to target someone who we want, perhaps in this up-and-coming draft, which is... Looking pretty good. Um, the, for us to get up there, we're going to have to make a trade, by the way, we're going. Because we're actually in a playoff spot here with this squad. We still have Thatcher Demko, by the way. He's having a pretty good year. Uh, but what I'm really, really excited about is uh, in the system, we got some growers. We got some absolute growers. Look at Irving. A.J. Irving. This was the guy we, ju we just picked up. Uh, third overall. He's now 82. He's grown pretty damn well. Yeah, pretty damn well. Also got the Van, Van Allen guy, Owen Van Allen. This is the OFD, so really, really excited about how he's panning out. Van Allen, I think he's two-way. Anyway, this is that fourth round selection. He's just grown like an absolute weed since since his inception here. Look at that. God damn. I mean, shot blocking stick checking could be better, but I mean, not really going to begrudge him those stats when he's grown like this and is going to be looking like a serviceable player. I mean... This Eminen guy has grown too. Well, this guy was what? Yeah, he was a second rounder. Huge growth out of him. I mean, we just got tons and tons and tons of growth. Even a couple of those guys we just uh, we just signed um, in free agency are growing a little bit. Let's see. LaBarbera was not one of them. Never mind. That's another look. Uh, shoot, who was it? I can't remember. I think Irving was one. Yeah, I think Irving was one. Right? Yeah, undrafted. So there you go. Undrafted. Bortolo must have been. A, yeah, Bortolo was one because he's undrafted too. He's growing pretty well. Um, Then we had like a defenseman too who was growing all right. Anyway, but the point is we're getting a ton of growth and, and the main guys that we want to grow are looking very good now. Beta hasn't grown this year, but he's 78 21. He should get a jump. He should actually be NHL ready by next year. Uh, if everything goes well, which it looks like it is. Weirdly, he's listed as a minor backup, even though he's 78 overall. Bit interesting in that regard. Yeah, Brody's not looking super strong, especially for a second round selection, but hey, 
He's still medium elite. He's still got good value. And I'll show you guys the draft class now. Because that is also going to be quite important. Now, what I'm really looking forward to is I want to see what kind of player Ryan Ho is. It's another, it's a right-handed defenseman. Now, obviously, we can, if this guy's like a DFD, I'll 100% want to pick him up. This guy would be the best option. A center or winger playmaker gives us a lot of flexibility, especially with, a, with another center sniper like Bedard, depending on where he goes. But, yeah, unfortunately, this guy's a two-way. We don't know what I've in him. And then, of course, you know, this guy is, of course, the number projected number one overall, which will be kind of tough to get. So, maybe this draft is where we select an, another defenseman and pretty much lock in that defensive core, the top four uh, for the future with, with the four guys we'll have. And we don't, out of those three, none of them are defense, def, uh, right hand us. Uh, the, the guy listed as, you know, the right D is actually a lefty, which, yeah, fun stuff. But I'm really, really hoping this guy's going to be a DFD. I don't know that he will be with his size and stuff, but I'm going to try to get him scouted to the you know best of my abilities. Uh, I'll actually go to yeah some pins here. So we do have another two-way D. Oh, God damn, we are just going to be swimming in great defensive prospects. Three-year ETA, medium elite at 105, and he's 18. This guy is an absolute steal, which we're not missing out on. A couple of goalie prospects as well. Uh, n neither of them, you know, stand out in any way, really. This guy's even 19, five-year ETA. Um, a, few, a couple other possibilities for, um, for medium elites. This guy, maybe. This guy, big, big maybe, and I'm really, really kind of stoked about that. Now, he is crashed to the net, so that's less less cool, and I don't know his player type, type either. Uh, but, obviously, if it's a medium elite, you want to pick him up anyway. Uh, a couple low elites. There's another potential guy. Got him pinned because where he's located at the draft, he should be nothing other than that. This guy looking like a low elite. People after that, maybe not so much, but plenty of plenty of room to scout, plenty of room to figure things out. And yeah. All right, so I guess we'll do some stat recaps now. We started out, we're not, we're scoring a bit better than we started out, but the ratio wasn't great, obviously. But Thatcher Demko is holding the line a bit. P power play started really bad. It's been slowly improving. Penalty kills started at 90%. It's hovering around the mid 80s now, which is, it's been very, very, very good. I mean, what can you say? And we're in third place with both uh, wild cards in this division, three points ahead of them. Looking like we're making the playoffs even with a more depleted roster than normal. But hey, oh, why not? Uh, so here's the. Gensel having a bit of a resurgence because he played with Crosby for a lot of the year. Crosby had to turn into kind of a sort of a goal scorer. I'm hoping to re relieve some of that pressure now with uh, Bedard up there and at the same time get Bedard going. He's taking enough shots. He's not putting them in the back of the net enough. Hiroch is doing okay. Nelson, I kind of, you know, was hoping that we could um, get some stack growth out of him and then trade him with retention on the next year. It's not looking like that'll be the case. And we tried to get Evander Kane first, but he didn't accept the two by nine deal. <laughs> that was hilarious. I'm like, really? Are you sure, Evander Kane, that you don't want a two by nine deal? And Evander Kane in this realm has zero financial issues. So we got that going for him. Tom Wilson got 40 fucking points, which is hilarious. Um, and yeah, Nolan Patrick, some other guys not doing so hot, but yeah, Heronic, not too shabby. And yeah, so there were no winners from last year's point scoring contest. This season, I don't, I guess, <laughs> I don't know, I'm really disappointed. Guess we can't really have the point scoring contest this year because, well, the next video's out and, well, our last video got screwed. And yes, this is the next video that's coming out in its place, essentially. So here we are at the deadline. And. We already made most of our big trades. We're not really a buyer. We don't have much to buy with besides maybe a, a goaltending prospect. But that we're not we're not a team, in my opinion, that's one piece away from being a true contender. We are many pieces away. Obviously, you trade Landis Gug, you trade Tarasenko. You're not gonna be a too too much of a contender. Our only saving grace right now is Thatcher Demko. And I'm gonna hold on to him because he's actually not having too bad of a year. He should maintain the stat growth that he has. 0.911 save percentage is, is actually pretty solid. So he's the guy we can move at the draft, I feel like. And then Beta should be hopping up next year. Markstrom should be able to be, or Mazzaro should be able to be signed. Markstrom. I could check when this was this guy drafted. 
Uh, twenty no, so we can have, we have another year on him, so we don't have to trade him. This guy will have to sign, so which we are obviously gonna do. And Peterson, he's got an extra year, so he could be sort of a spot starter for us next season when Beta jumps up into the NHL to get a to get a taste of the backup. Next year might be the big big tank here. <laughs> The way things are looking. If we shift out that Jodemko for a piece at the draft, which is looking quite likely. Um, speaking of which, we have nine picks total. We can get three more, only one more in the first two rounds. But let's maybe look for threes and fours for those medium elites. I think that's the uh ah, give me the best option here. So there's some trash there. We're going to need some of those mid-type guys, like around here. 65 at 20. We have, do have plenty of defensemen. Both these guys are DFDs. One's a righty, one's a lefty. I guess you hold on to the righty <laughs> in our situation. I really like Callahan. He's a grinder. He's on pace. I, I guess we can get rid of Regeer. There should be some other things here, like, like Quint and Quint. This guy we can 100% get rid of. And I might be able to get a third for him on alone. But let's do that thrown in Regeer as well. A couple lefties, which we should be fine. Trading away a couple lefty defensemen. Now I want a really, really good third. So I'm going to look to a really, really bad team to pick up their third if I can. Montreal's horrible. Listed as a conservative buyer. Lol. They don't have a third. Cool. Uh, Panthers are pretty bad too. There's your horrible team. Uh, okay, why is it every time when we're looking for a third, no one has a third? I swear to God. That happens constantly. Alright, that looks like it should go through. Let's actually try to pick up a four as well. I'd love to get a third and a four. Okay, not very interesting. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, I'm going to try to keep picking up picks here. I'm just trying to go down. I, I mean, the, the value may just be skewed in our favor, just by in the visual. But that's what I'm trying to figure out here by inching our way down, not matching. Yeah, okay. So what, for the three itself, yeah. Okay, I won't even go through for the three itself, which is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Thing is, about those bad, bad teams... Hold on. Let me let me check out when those guys were ranked. See if I can get a better idea of when I exactly need those threes to be. I should actually, because I might not need a, that good of a three. You know, like that early of a three, I could try to maybe home home in on it a bit better. Sixty. That guy, give or take. That okay. Um, one hundred five. That's yeah. I don't need a whole lot for that. Yeah. So honestly, that's that's actually more of an early four. There's one more. Hold on. Oh, did I not have him pinned? Guess I didn't pin him. You know what? Yeah, I actually don't need that early of a three. Because this would be kind of the mid-late three. Yeah, so the Borny would be more of the mid-late three, and then the other guy's an early four. Okay. So let's go back to one of those shit teams, get an early four, and then try to get, yeah, you know what, I kind of like that idea. So let's get, get one of those crap teams fours. Who was the worst? Detroit was the worst. I went the wrong way, but whatever. Could also go for them. But Detroit is guaranteed to be the literal worst, but we don't necessarily need the literal worst. It's 101. Starts at 94. So, yeah. This should be good enough. And we might, we shouldn't need to give up one of those other things. Actually, this these two might do it. What, is, what kind of players are you? Yeah, Sniper don't need you at all. This guy's actually grown well. I don't, almost don't want to get rid of him. He could be a solid depth piece. I'll see if I can get away with not trading him, but I, I, I will trade him if I have to. Not even though, yeah, this might not exactly work I 
Yeah, we're already down to those guys. And then that guy can't move. Okay. Might have to give up. Oh, man. All right, job trying to make fair value. So we'd have to give up on this guy. But that's that's really okay because he's only seven poten 70 potential. So he's only really going to be depth now. Obviously, that would be a great depth piece. But, eh, you know what? Yeah. Sometimes those can be hard to come by. Well, I, I kind of, he's he's interested in me. I, I will rarely, rarely ever keep a guy like that, but he's actually interesting. So let me find some uh, some further considerations here. Okay, so it'll have to be higher than that. I'll go for next year's picks because we can replenish them a bit quicker. How about a six? That, that, in my opinion, should go through. There we go. So we got that four for junk, and now we could grab a three. Which should be much, much easier to get. Doesn't even have to be that bad of a three anymore, but yeah, it could be a mid late three, which is honestly harder to grab. I'll, I'll go for a team around 500. Damn it. Why does no one have threes? It's insane. I'll go for a team around five. <laughs> Simply because this should be within that. There we go. And and here here's the other good thing. It's actually on the block. So, yep. And again, this will, this will be relatively easy to shift up should we need it. Now, our own three sh could actually be able to get them, but anything if anything, it's, you know, extra value. We're not going to use these guys anyway. I'd rather get the picks for this year, shift some things around. Might be able to even move stuff up for seconds, so on and so forth. So, for this guy, I would love to only give away the, uh, the Elite, but it'll probably cost another piece actually maybe not because that's on the block and that's looking solid might be able to get something else instead can i replace my six absolutely uh that that was that was a pair of pretty damn good trades value uh value wise now still have that other dude so we have 11 picks we can get one more which we sh could just keep space for it to move into the to grab a one or two but that's cons it's considering if it's if it's an extra pick do i want to grab another very very good second maybe now what i could do is trade markstrom now even though i don't have to trade him now and i could get a very very good second for that and that would lock in a low elite but And we can honestly replenish him immediately with the with the draft pick. <laughs> or at least we should be able to. Hmm. Maybe. Or we wait. But we could could grab a second right here, right now, from a very, very bad team. i.e. Detroit. Now, they may not want to give up that second. But that is 100% a fair trade. Now, in the grand scheme of things, I'm trading medium elite goalie value, even though, you know, he may make it, he may not. 20 to 61 is kind of low for essentially what's going to become a low elite at best, which isn't the best value trade, all things considered, but... When we look at the other things that we're going to grab, <laughs> we're, we're shooting up value there. So I don't mind it too much. See if I could snag anything else, maybe from next year or something, maybe a four. Nope. If, if this doesn't go through one for one, then I'm 100% not doing it. I don't want it. Yeah, no, no. Okay. So they don't think it's a fair trade. And honestly, it's more fair for them, but whatever. Uh, I'll hold on to that then. I didn't have to trade him this year anyway. He's got another year of uh, being unsigned. So I think I think that will be our trade deadline. I don't think I had any more moves to make. Tom Wilson doesn't want to come back, which is unfortunate because I actually really want to keep him around. I am going to keep around Larson for another year. But the thing about Tom Wilson, he wants a shit ton of money. <laughs> It's a guy kind of hilarious how much he wants. I mean, I can afford it, but 
also we did overpay on a lot of the free agents so kind of want to uh avoid that maybe i'm signing a lot of those dudes I, i've offered extensions to a lot of our grinders and stuff paying them similar to amounts to what they're making just to help us with the cap floor all right well i think that'll be it for the deadline then just a couple minor trades loaded up on picks we have 12 for this year five in the first two well no we don't we have 11 for this year four in the first two rounds we can get an extra one we shall see Okay, let's finish this season off, and I want to see what Bedard can do on this first line. McEwen's coming back. Uh, duh, 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 duh. We're not going to participate in this, obviously. So we'll see if any trades were made. Oh yeah, in the off season, Verano was like traded, and that that came up as a blockbuster trade. So there's some pretty, pretty cool, cool stuff happening. And uh, yeah, we we're making the playoffs. Now, granted, we aren't in a super strong division. It's about equal to the Pacific, which is the other weaker division. The Atlant or yeah, the Atlantic and the Central were solid. There you go. Arizona getting a first. Tukin and Boucher for Schmaltz and Fiala. That's a pretty big trade. All right, Buffalo. Um, probably don't need him, but I want to see what he is. No. Nah. All right, we got everyone signing. That we offered extensions to. Dmitry Orlov. All right, a couple tough losses in a row, but we answer back with a dub. Come on, Connor Bedard, man. You got to score some goals here. Well, we won a bunch of games in a row. Not their prettiest of wins, all in OT or a shootout, but. Hey. Wins are wins. Tough loss to Ottawa. <laughs> four goals. We scored four, though, so I'm not too upset about it. All right, let's do some scouting real quick. And you know what? Since you guys actually didn't get a, a glimpse at what we even were scouting before in my methods, I guess I'll do it right here. Yeah, why not? Let's let's take let's take a closer look. Come on. Oh, come on. Still being scouted. I'm going to pin him. Pin both of them. You bitches. That's unfortunate. All right, whatever. I'll actually scout this guy simply because he could be maybe like a top four in there. I mean, we're, we're pretty stacked on the fence, but values, values, value. You never know what could come of it. Cool. At least we could scout this dude. It's a two-way guy, so it's not obviously the most ideal. But you never know. You never know what'll happen. So some of these guys, 60 and 70, 80, probably going to be top six, top four for the lows. So around here, it becomes a bit more money again. But apparently all of them are going to be being scouted right now, which is cool. All right. I will scout more of the first round. Actually, I should have done that, but I'll just scroll through and scout all of them. We should have most of them close to figured out so we should find them pretty organically here in the target scouting the reason being is we have so many firsts obviously and we're actually kind of doing okay so we want to see if there are any of those mid to late uh first steals that would be very very good to know hopefully there are not too sure i might go back and, and target scout a bit better because yeah that is actually quite important in that first round i'm talking about is this a two tick or a three? Hopefully it's a... Oh, it doesn't matter. We're in top sixes. I am tired, man. <laughs> I'm getting up pretty early to do uh, stuff. And then, of course, having to try to troubleshoot what the hell was going on with my audio. Sometimes it just takes a wipe of a bunch of crap and a reset of the old hardware. But it'd be nice if it didn't happen. All right. Some decent possibilities here. Gilbert Marchand, let's go. I'll do that guy for shits and giggles. Just because it's almost kind of looking like it could be deep. But probably not that deep. That's very, very off of uh, the medium elite range. We'll see. Not a whole lot down here. But we'll delve into the into the weeds a little bit or not.
Let's see. Yeah. Okay, not a whole lot of help going on. Not a whole lot of options, I should say. How about any one ticks here? Feeling a little light. Okay, definitely not. Uh, nothing. Nothing and nothing. Okay. So I'll try to scout a bit more of the first as much as I can, guys who aren't glitched out. Which is looking like a lot of them. <laughs> or they're just all being looked at. I mean, that guy can only be top four, but hey. Good lord. <laughs> oh, we're actually... Wow, how'd I skip out on that dude? That guy's gonna be top nine. I'm not sure why I'm bothering, but hey. I'm gonna delve into here and into that second round. To look for... Uh, look for those top sixes and low elites. Good lord. Well, the good news is our scouts are actually scouting people. The bad news is, are they actually scouting people? That's the question. Ooh, already down the top. No Ooh, okay. Interesting. It's kind of a quick shift. All right, whatever. And then there's that guy, which is weird. Uh, hold on. Gonna scout a bit beyond it where I normally would. Yeah, look at that. That's interesting. That gets only top nine. Then it okay, then it should shift back. Probably, but then weird. Very, very weird. I'm gonna keep going actually. Just just a few more of these guys, simply because that's really weird. That was just very odd how that jumped around like that. I don't know if I've ever quite seen that in the second round. Okay, that should be fine. Up to 70 is fine. Okay. So on we go here. I'd like to see a few more big, big goal scoring games, but... Yeah. We were technically scoring a bit better before with what we had, but I mean, I'm, I, we, we have to get Bedard going. We just simply have to get him going production-wise, growth-wise, everything. Like, yeah, he's almost looking like he's only capping at second. <clears throat> second line by this point. That was a huge win against uh, the Lightning. Allowed some goals, but hey. Making them lose is always good. Oh, that sucks. Broken leg for one of our, uh, for one of our better prospects. Whatever, that's why we got insane amounts of depth. There you go. I don't even know if that guy was... No, he actually was a prospect. Yeah, he was like 20. Alright, so there we go. Not a bad season. And obviously we made the playoffs. Taking on Carolina in the first round. So even when we're going through a retool slash trending into a rebuild... We still make the playoffs, still almost have 50 wins. Crosby had 88 points. I mean, not incredible, but I mean, the dude is 38. Let's, we actually made second in the division. Goals four, hovered around the same. Goals against got slightly better. Power play, couldn't even hit 20. PK was at least around the mid 80s all year. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother seeing how we stacked up. We're not that kind of team anymore. I don't really care how we're doing in comparison to, to some of the other top teams because we're not a top team anymore. 88 points, Crosby, 75, Gensel, 63, Patrick, Hiroche, 58, Wilson, 50. Bedard hit 47 points, which isn't bad, but ugh. it's much better than the pace he was on. So in the last almost 20, he had 15 points, so yeah. And he did slightly grow, but that might be morale. Looking like it will be morale. He's loving the ice time and stuff. God damn, please grow. Whatever, 47-point rookie year isn't horrible, but... Would have liked it to been better. Nolan Patrick shot way the hell up. He was not doing this good. And he shot way up there. So it's good for us. Maybe make that contract a bit more movable down the road if he continues stuff like this. But for right now, that's a pretty immovable contract. But that's a good season. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do about Nelson. He definitely ain't going to get stack growth with those numbers. I tried my best. He was not really producing well in that. Where he was, or anywhere he was, really. 
Peronic, yeesh. You're not great. Not great, Bob. But hey. We weren't trying to be great this season. But that's your temp call, dude. He's... I mean, he's a big reason. He Dominic hashik us into the playoffs in a lot of ways. Uh, Peterson didn't get the stat or the points I want out of him, but his stats were okay at the end of the year. Not bad, Thatcher Demko, but he's now 30, right? By the time we're getting better, he'll be in his mid to late, or by the time we're competitive again, he'll be in his mid to late 30s. With the goalie we have coming up, Beta, by the time we're contending again, he'll be in almost near his mid 20s, which is the perfect time, you know? It's that uh, it's like the perfect time for a goalie to start actually performing well in the playoffs. So, yay for us. Let's take a look at that playoff tree here before we jump in. Blackhawks, the Wild, Avalanche and the Coyotes, Oilers and the Canucks, Flames and Vegas. We're taking on the Canes, Rangers and Buffalo, uh, Senators and Toronto, nice, and then the Lightning and the Islanders. So there we are. I'm kind of hoping Toronto beats the uh, Senators. Could really, uh, really use that. I, I hope both the Lightning and the Senators get eliminated first round. That would be outstanding. I doubt it happens, but that would be unreal if it did. Um, why I didn't check out the uh, the league? <laughs> I just realized that. I'm like, wait a sec. We didn't go. We didn't go through the league. So let's see. Who else stood out? I'm gonna hear it. I'm. Gonna, I know I'm gonna hear it. Oh my God, that's what I was gonna guess. Okay. You're a liar if you were going to guess Panarin. <laughs> you guys haven't been guessing Panarin. Uh, 106 points for Panarin. McDavid was up there. Lafreniere is actually up there. He actually huh, panned out. Still a high elite, huh, EA? All right. <laughs> Let's trigger the Ranger fans and call them a bust. 101 points for McJesus. Not too bad. Let's see the goal leader. Uh, yep, Silas Blaine, 53 goals. Only one shy was McKinnon. Tarasenko, <laughs> good for you, buddy. Good for you. I'm, I'm happy for him. Uh, let's check assists. Panarin led the way in assists. I actually want to see if Landeskog was anywhere near here. Doesn't look like it. Where the hell is he? There he is, way down there, 65 points. So yeah, you know what? That actually turned out to be a very, very good trade. <laughs> All right. Well, oh, not that not, not penalties. So Calgary, Avalanche have good lines. The Lightning, uh, yeah, Calgary though. Damn. Watch out for them. Okay. Let's check out who's the most clutch now. Uh, Sebastian Ajo, I'd say, 12 game winners, 37 goals. That's about one out of three of his goals were game winners. Crazy. Power play goal leader, McDavid with 18. Power play point totals looking like, no, it's Capo Caco with 40 points on the power play. Half, almost half his points came on the power play. <laughs> Jeez. All right, Shorty is a four for Kevin LeBanc. What does he learn to shoot? Unreal. All right, uh, shorthand point totals, Borkstrom, who looks about 12 years old. Shaw was up there, too. Get hype. <laughs> Not too bad. And we'll check out that Selkie race now as well. Uh, O'Reilly up there still, but he sure, he sure, in his prime now, making his way into that conversation. Good hits, good block shots, damn good ratio, good face-off percentage, way more face-offs taken. Although, are the Devils a good team? He's got better plus-minus than O'Reilly, at the very least. Okay, so he's in the conversation. Taves maybe in that conversation a bit. Uh, Pedersen, meh, a little bit, not really. Uh, Giroux, slightly. Uh, Lundell, kind of, sort of, Sagan. Eh, Barkov, okay, Barkov's got to be in that conversation, 100%. So front runners, I'd say Barkov and uh Oh cool, I already forgot his name. God damn, it's gonna bug me. Anyway, Christian Dvorak actually. Entering his prime. Uh he's sure. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so that's that's looking like the Selkie race. 
Uh, Merkley led the way in points for the. Yeah, no one, no one, no one was winning this shit anyway. Sixty-nine points for Merkley. Nice. Uh, Hannafin may have the track on the uh, on the Norris though, with that plus minus being up there the way it is. But nice, nice Merkley. Hope you get sixty-nine points some year with the Sharks. Panned out too. What a beast. Yeah, I would 100% give it to Hannafin. Look at the hits, the block shots. Okay, the the ratio isn't that great compared to some others. Actually, Merkley had quite a good ratio. But the game loves its plus minus, so I say, I say Hannafin wins it. All right, let's check out the goalies. Grubauer? No, Blackwood. <laughs> Jesus, what a year for Blackwood. Look at those numbers over there in Tirana. Good gracious. Good contract they got him on. You should get some stack growth after that. Yeah, please, please turn it on in the playoffs and, and eliminate Ottawa for me, please. That would be amazing. Damn, dude, no one's even close. Yeah, who's going to guess Blackwood? <laughs> Blackwood's a good goalie now. Grubauer's a good goalie, also on good teams. So take a good look here. Get your ideas for future years. All right, let's check out some rooks. Oh, poor Bedard. If only you weren't absolute garbage. He was an absolute garbage, but I mean, he could, in my opinion, his skill set could have gotten more points. Penn's fans would be like, but more goals. And then Wild fans are like, but more points. Age discrepancy, though, is two years. He had three less games played, though. Same plus and minuses. That's a tough one. He's, I think it just goes to the guy with the most points, though. And not really any goalie. Jacob's looking like he could be a fucking good goal. Oh, my goodness. 21. He was drafted. 53 overall. A low elite goaltender. He's 82. I mean, he kind of became sort of for And he's an absolutely effective backup. And he could actually become a starter. He's at least a fringe starter right now. Grows a couple more overall. He could he could take over a number one job somewhere. Absolutely. C good for you, Nick Jacobs. Yeah, I like him. All right. So there we go. There's all that. We got the playoffs now. Taking on the Carolina Hurricanes. And we'll see what they have to offer us. They're a pretty good team. And... Uh, We'll see if we can cheese our way to a Stanley Cup. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if we won it. Probably won't happen. Teravine and Natchez, uh, Shvechnikov, Fo oh my goodness, Fogel, Ajo, Henestroza, Mikhail, Pominarev, Dad and off. Strong down the middle, Bach, Matthäus, Knight, Jesus, criminy. Still exceptionally strong down the middle. Winger, depth, some to be desired in some places, but honestly not bad. Second line's decent. Third line, Dad and off, maybe. Oh, it's not even. But, yeah. That's a pretty solid defensive core as well. Do they have an injury or something, or is that how they're built? Yeah, three really good ones, three okay ones, three serviceable ones, I'll say. But, hey, they can make it work. Okay, no more Hannafin, so. Okay. Wait, why am I checking power play? And <laughs> what? Oh, you guys are fucked. You guys are absolutely fucked, man. They got Martin. What? That's their goalie situation. Um, Jones and Lindblom. Very interesting. All right. This will be. This could be fun. Time for our offense to come to the roost. Let's fucking go. Let's upset them. We actually did pass them up in the standings. They really don't have a goalie injury. Wow. Okay. Well. We know what we got. Let's hope that we could uh, beat the Carolina. I'm excited. I saw Martin Jones. I didn't even check our lines to compare him. I'm, I'm excited. Ah, five to two loss. That sucks. Come on now, offense. Get going. Come on. Game two. Game two, three to two win. That's what I'm talking about. One to one series. Game three on the road. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> two to one OT win. Thatcher the Snatcher Demko, baby. Game four. Can we take a, two, a three one lead on the road? No, we lose an OT. The series is tied up two games apiece. We're making a competitor though. Pivotal game five on whole mice. We get absolutely crushed. And a chance to lose in six. We do. <laughs> Fuck off, Martin Jones. <laughs> All right, so we lose in six here. I wasn't expecting the win. I wasn't going to try shifting around lines to win. We got Bedard some playoff experience. Let's actually see how some guys did. Gensel had five points, so second line looks like it. 
did pretty good. I'm not too sure how that first line did. Crosby, three points. Bedard, two goals at least. Yeah, it's not horrible, but yeah, it's not great. We're, we're, we're not a great team either, but it was, it was fucking Martin Jones. I thought we could do a bit better than that. Poor Demko. You did his best, but we didn't give him a whole lot of help. Not going to put that on him. Our defensive core is absolute ass compared to other years. So we got eliminated in six. Fuck. But hey, all right. The Lightning lost at least, but damn it. The Senators just beat, just beat the, uh, the Leafs in seven. I'm a little hurt about that, but hey, the Lightning got eliminated. That's huge for us. That is huge for us. That, that pick becomes slightly better. Now they were high in the standings, so it won't be great, but they did get eliminated, eliminated in that first round. So that's nice. Okay, so uh, that's that's this year. <laughs> yeah, that, that is this year. Yeah, I the pace is all off because well, we're missing a video, and I do apologize. But yeah, as I said, couldn't really be avoided. But uh, yeah, eliminating that first round, um, we kind of made it competitive, though all things considered. Maybe I could have tried to shift them some 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 things around, but I prefer trying to get Bedard going. Eh. He's playing with the best, playing with Crosby at the end of his year under the tutelage. And he'll continue to be under that tutelage until Crosby fucking retires. Because we're going to, as I said, we're playing him until he can't play anymore. I'm milking every ounce of hockey left in him. Um, I actually think I said that in last video, so you guys didn't hear. But yes, that's 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 been the goal the entire time. We're going to keep signing him no matter what. Keep signing him. One, two-year deals, I don't care. He's getting signed, 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 signed until he retires. Because, <laughs> yeah, he's Sidney Crosby, man. So just like Lemieux helped out Crosby, Crosby now helps out Bedard. But Bedard may not be that Crosby guy because, well, he's <laughs> not growing too well. Whatever. We'll see what happens. All right. So that will do it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I did my best to recap everything. I might have missed a thing or two. But I, you know what assets we have. We, you know what players we're missing. You know what signings we made. The other stuff was just some fat trimmed off which doesn't make me feel great about a one-hour video being considered mostly fat. I'm going to go cry myself to a nap, to sleep, to a nap. Oh, God. What a great intro. Leave a like. It's even an outro. I said intro. I, I, I'm stopping the recording right now. This is horrible.